can you introduce yourself, please, a little bit? Absolutely. My name is Arthur Mate, and I'm the head of quality assurance at NS Pharma, a small pharmaceutical company in northern New Jersey. What is your background? You've been w working in the industry for quite a while, yeah, and uh, like with many pharmaceutical companies on various aspects of the business. So can you explain also your... Yeah, thing? yeah, sure. I mean, I started out quite some time ago in a large pharmaceutical company uh, in the toxicology lab and worked my way into uh, clinical monitoring okay. and then into quality assurance. Uh, I've also done um, with several other large pharmaceutical companies um, I've done uh, electronic document management systems, I've done computer system uh, validation, okay. uh, audits and inspections, and then here I am now with uh, NS Pharma. Right, so you're an expert in uh, uh, gathering requirements, <laughs> traceability matrix, and so on. I don't know if I'm ever an expert, but I've, I've been around for quite some time, yeah. When I arrived uh, three years ago, we already had Agatha, okay, so I'm not exactly sure when we, when we um, you know, purchased it and began using it, uh, and at that time, uh, it was basically a document repository for, we used it for SOPs, and we had one trial master file in there. And that, now you have several studies and you're using Agatha on a, on a daily basis, is that? Right? Yeah, so, um, you, know, you know, starting out very early for NS Pharma, they had just a few SOPs. They were, there was really no quality assurance group either that had used, utilized the consultant. Right. So when I came in, my role was to kind of build a quality group, ensure that uh, our one study got approved, uh, right. which is uh, Vital Larson. Um, and we've continued to grow, uh, increasing studies and increasing our trial master files in there. Okay. You, you mentioned like ensuring that you get like you get approval from the studies and FDA approval. I, I'm assuming. How is I guess that helping out to you during like the FDA inspections? Yeah. Well, we did, we had a little help from COVID. You know, uh, I think everybody suffered with COVID. So um, you know, we we were fortunate to um, you know not actually have the audit um, in house, but um, so we, we uh, store our SOPs there and think about it when an inspector comes in. The first thing I want to know is how do we do our business? Well, those are our SOPs. And uh, we manage them through Agatha. Through uh, We, we kind of develop them outside and bring them in, and then we get the approvals uh, within Agatha. Uh, and they're also linked to our training, which is also important for inspections. And then, um, you know, should a, should a health inspector want to see our documentation, which they will want to see our documentation, um, for the study, uh, our trial master file contains all our source documentation and, 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 and all documents. And we would retrieve them uh, as they're requested by the inspector through, through Agatha. And when you have a new employee coming, then you put the employee in the right groups and automatically yeah, like absolutely. the employee records yeah, I'm sorry. are absolutely. generated? Yeah, so, it's, um, you know, so you can develop a training matrix uh, okay. within Agatha. And then that employee, depending on what their role is within the company, will be put into a particular training matrix. Uh, We'll part of onboarding. Okay. So uh, yeah, we manage their training that way and their onboarding as well. You're also using Agatha Clinical ETMF to manage your ETMF, obviously. And um, can you explain how you're using that application? Yeah, absolutely. So um, it's, you know, it's critical that we're able to store our ETMF you know, in, in an application that manages and uh, you know, uh, has security of our system, um, of our ETMF. So what happens is our CRO basically manages the, the ETMF during the, the course of the study. And at the end of the study, we bring it into Agatha. So now we have controls on it. Everything works just fine. Everybody's happy with it. Uh, we uh, approve our, our SOPs uh, within Agatha, and then we distribute them uh, to the people, the individuals in the matrix. In terms of uh, setup, you have a lot of experience with other solutions. Like, wh what is the main difference that you like? Yeah, so, so that's actually very simple as well because it's cloud-based. Um, like for us, it's sort of like we just access the system. We didn't really have to do a validation. Um, not that we wouldn't, depending on, on what you're doing for us. I mean, some of the QMS build, we want to do some testing. Ourselves, you only have to do uh, performance testing. Based on your you know, experience with multiple systems with Agatha and so on, what would be your recommendation for other companies we would want to uh, bring in uh, quality and clinical document management. Sure, education. sure. If you want, if you want, you know, a simple system that you want something that's probably easy, uh, as I just mentioned, you know, um, you know, relatively uh, reasonable in cost, um, get great support, um, and and you know, want to be using it quickly. Um, I say take a look at it. You know, I mean, at least it never hurts to look at, at a system out there. In fact, everybody should be looking at all the systems. But um, so they take a look at it and speak to gentlemen like you that can um, certainly help us out. From your perspective, what are the bigger strengths of 
uh, distortion like Agatha? So for, you know, I can only speak for us, um, you know, uh, it's simple, okay? It really is simple because I've, I've put in other systems that can be rather complicated. Um, being that we're small, we want to keep things simple. We don't want it to be, you know, uh, difficult to use. Um, it's easy to use. Uh, I can tell you it was uh, reasonable, you know, uh, when we negotiated our costs, so we were very happy. Uh, and it was very nice to work with the, the team at Agatha. But that was it, so it was very, very good, uh, very simple for us. Um, and of course, you know, you and your support staff have been great, you know, to us, very supportive, you know. Great. Very much appreciated. Thank you, appreciate it. <laughs> also, May, thank you for your time. Great, thank you, thank you for having me.